He is known for developing the classical theory of electromagnetic radiation. He is recognized for unifying electricity, magnetism, and light into a single phenomenon. His name is James Clerk Maxwell. In the small town of Edinburgh, Scotland, a young prodigy named James Clerk Maxwell was born into a family of scholars and intellectuals. From an early age, it was clear that Maxwell possessed an insatiable curiosity and an exceptional aptitude for mathematics and science. As he delved into the works of great philosophers and scientists, Maxwell began to formulate a groundbreaking theory that would revolutionize the field of physics. With his publication of, A Dynamical Theory of the Electromagnetic Field, in 1865, Maxwell's brilliance shone through, as he presented a unifying framework that connected the seemingly disparate concepts of electricity, magnetism, and light. Through his equations for electromagnetism, Maxwell unveiled the profound insight that electric and magnetic fields were not separate entities, but rather intertwined phenomena that propagated as waves at the speed of light. Maxwell's revolutionary theory not only led to a deeper understanding of the fundamental forces of nature but also paved the way for the prediction of radio waves, forever transforming the world of communication. His contributions extended beyond electromagnetism, as he made significant strides in statistical mechanics and even produced the first durable color photograph in 1861. Maxwell's work laid the foundation for modern physics, influencing the likes of Albert Einstein and fundamentally shaping the fields of special relativity and quantum mechanics. As his remarkable achievements continue to be recognized and celebrated, James Clerk Maxwell stands as one of the most brilliant minds in the history of science. His quest for knowledge and his ability to interweave different disciplines serve as a testament to the power of curiosity and the immense impact that a single individual can have on the course of human knowledge. James Clerk Maxwell, known for his groundbreaking contributions to physics, had an innate sense of curiosity from an early age. Born on June 13, 1831 in Edinburgh, Scotland, to John Clerk Maxwell and Francis Kay, James grew up in a family of comfortable means. His father's side of the family held the baronetcy of Clerk of Pennycook, while his mother was the sister of John Kay, a civil engineer. It was in this environment that James's inquisitive nature began to emerge. When the family settled in Glenlair, in Kirkcubrishire, Maxwell's curiosity seemed boundless. Even as a young child, he was constantly asking, what's the go of that? Everything that moved, shone, or made a noise was a subject of fascination for him. His mother described this unquenchable curiosity in a letter to James's aunt, Jane Kay, saying that he had an innate sense of inquisitiveness that seemed to drive his every interaction with the world. Maxwell's early years were not without tragedy, as his parents had lost their first child, Elizabeth, who died in infancy. Despite this loss, Maxwell's thirst for knowledge and understanding only grew stronger. He delved into books and experiments, seeking to unravel the mysteries of the world around him. His relentless drive to comprehend the go o that led him to become one of the most influential physicists of his time. The early years of James Clerk Maxwell's life laid the foundation for his later achievements. His insatiable curiosity and unwavering dedication to understanding the workings of the universe propelled him to push the boundaries of scientific knowledge. Maxwell's philosophy teaches us the importance of embracing our own curiosity, asking questions, and seeking answers. By nurturing our innate sense of inquisitiveness, we can embark on our own journeys of discovery and make meaningful contributions to the world around us. Recognizing the boy's potential, James' mother Frances took responsibility for his early education. At a young age of eight, James already had an impressive knowledge of scripture, being able to recite long passages from the works of John Milton and even the entire 119th Psalm. His mother's dedication to his education was evident as he could give chapter and verse for almost any quotation from the Psalms. Tragically, his mother fell ill with abdominal cancer and passed away when he was just eight years old, leaving James' education in the hands of his father and his father's sister-in-law Jane. His formal schooling began with a hired tutor who unfortunately treated young James harshly, criticizing him for being slow and wayward. This tutor was eventually dismissed, and James' father took him to witness Robert Davidson's demonstration of electric propulsion and magnetic force, an experience that deeply impacted the young boy. At the age of 10, James was enrolled in the prestigious Edinburgh Academy, where he faced challenges due to his rural upbringing and accent. He was even given the unkind nickname of Dafty. However, his life took a positive turn when he met Lewis Campbell and Peter Guthrie Tate, who would become lifelong friends and notable scholars. One aspect of James' education that stood out was his fascination with geometry. Even before receiving formal instruction, he independently rediscovered regular polyhedra, showcasing his innate curiosity and talents. Although initially overlooked academically, James' abilities soon received recognition when he won the school's mathematical medal and first prizes for both English and poetry at the age of 13. 
His interests extended beyond the school syllabus, and he began exploring various scientific topics and writing his own papers. This culminated in his first scientific paper on mechanical means of drawing mathematical curves with a piece of twine and the properties of ellipses, Cartesian ovals, and related curves with multiple foci. The paper was presented to the Royal Society of Edinburgh by Professor James Forbes, as James was deemed too young to present it himself. Throughout James' early education, his mother and father played significant roles, instilling in him a thirst for knowledge and nurturing his intellectual development. The support he received from his family, as well as the friendships he formed, helped him navigate the challenges he faced in his academic journey. James' natural curiosity and passion for learning drove him to explore beyond the confines of the traditional curriculum, allowing him to make significant contributions to various fields of study. His dedication to education and relentless pursuit of knowledge serve as an inspiration for us in our daily lives, reminding us of the importance of curiosity, perseverance, and surrounding ourselves with supportive people who believe in our potential. In 1847, a young and curious James began his journey as a student at the University of Edinburgh. He had the option to attend the prestigious University of Cambridge, but he chose to complete his undergraduate studies at Edinburgh. The university boasted a renowned academic staff, including Sir William Hamilton, who taught him logic and metaphysics, Philip Kelland, who guided him in mathematics, and James Forbes, who enlightened him in natural philosophy. Surprisingly, James found his classes at Edinburgh to be less demanding than he had anticipated. This allowed him ample time to delve into private study, both at the university and back home at Glenlair. It was there that he conducted intriguing experiments with improvised apparatus related to chemicals, electricity, and magnetism. However, his greatest fascination lay in the exploration of polarized light. With shaped blocks of gelatin and polarizing prisms given to him by William Nicol, James engaged in a series of experiments. By subjecting the gelatin blocks to various stresses, he observed the emergence of colored fringes within the jelly. This deep exploration ultimately led him to discover a method called photoelasticity, a technique used to determine the distribution of stress within physical structures. At the tender age of 18, James demonstrated his remarkable intellectual prowess by contributing two papers to the transactions of the Royal Society of Edinburgh. One of these papers, titled On the Equilibrium of Elastic Solids, laid the groundwork for a significant discovery he would make later in life, the temporary double refraction produced in viscous liquids by shear stress. The other paper, Rolling Curves, just like his previous work on Oval Curves, was deemed too advanced for him to present himself. Instead, his tutor Kellen had the honor of delivering the paper to the Royal Society. James Clerk Maxwell's time at the University of Edinburgh served as a launching pad for his remarkable scientific career. It was here that he developed his passion for exploring the properties of light, conducted groundbreaking experiments, and made invaluable contributions to the field of physics. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.